All right, gang, so we have phenomenal fishing going on at this little spot. But we've hit a bunch of little spots of the mangroves, and we found the one where the snook are hanging out at, where they're biting really well at. So, like I always say, once you figure out the spot and you figure out which way the current's going, the very best thing to do is anchor on the spot. That way you're in position so that every time you throw your bait in the water, it's where the fish are. So as you watch, Ruben's getting the anchor out, throwing it, okay, perfect. It doesn't look like we really know what we're doing, but we do. We have a perfect idea of how the boat's going to lay because the tide is headed out of the bay. So we're going to end up laying with the starboard side right along the edge of the mangroves exactly where we want to be. That's the key. You have to make sure if you're going to drop the anchor, you better know exactly which way you're going to lay because if you can't cast to the position where you're trying to catch the fish, then there's a pretty good, see how the boat's starting to swing? That's because the anchor's starting to hold. So they, we're swinging on the anchor, and then all along the starboard side of the boat is where the mangroves are. Right where the camera is, is the area. Now we're going to swing back in there. We're just getting tight on the anchor. Swing back in a little bit. Now if you watch, Mark's going to cast his bait into the zone, and then he's going to get a bite here. He's, or excuse me, he's already hooked up. He didn't even have to wait. We got tied on the anchor and Mark was bit already because he was able to put his bait right on the spot. So here he goes, winding in a nice snook. And Ruben's just putting all the gear away. He just dumped the anchor. So what's going to happen here is Mark's going to have to net his own fish. But Mark, being a charter boat captain for so many years, he knows exactly what he's doing here. So he's bringing in his nice little snook, which is one of my favorite fish to eat. And here he goes. And he's going to net it himself. And then I go, wait a minute, I'll net it while I'm flying the drone. So here we go. I'll put the drone, the controls down, net his fish straight up with the net, just like you want to do. Showing Ruben straight up and then dump the snook right on the deck. It's a nice little five-pound snook. Perfect eating size right there. I do love snook, and we have a nice eating size right there. So we just netted it, brought it right up on the boat, and now we're ready. Just explaining to Ruben the proper way to net the fish. He already knows that's his boat, but you know me. I got to pretend like I know everything. So I just put the net back up in the spot, grab the drone, Control, because now we can't see. Bring the drone back over. Whoops, wrong way. Bring it back over here. There we are. Now you can see the boat. Yep, there's everybody. The guy in the orange jacket, that's Ruben. He's the owner of the boat. He's the guy that takes me and Mark fishing all the time when we go up to Lopez Mateo. He also threw the net, caught us a bunch of beautiful Monterey sardines. That's what we're using for bait here. And if you get that Monterey sardine over there by the by the mangroves, it's pretty instant bite. I think Mark's getting a nibble already. I'm going to throw a bait in there. Stay tuned. We'll have lots and lots of more videos of showing you how bitching the fishing is here in Lopez Mateo. But this is just giving you one more idea of how to anchor on the spot and how important it is. If you get anchored on the spot, you got a very, very good chance of catching some fish. We're going to throw a little bit of... 